G'day, I'm Stuart from Red Arc, and today we're going to talk about some of the common questions we receive about the BCDC in-vehicle battery charger. The common inquiry we get when a battery has been over-discharged is that the BCDC will not start charging because the battery is too flat. Now the BCDC needs to see at least four volts in the battery to identify that there is a battery actually present, and this is a safety feature. So if your auxiliary battery has become that discharged due to leaving a light or a fan or something like this on, then you need to apply a higher voltage to that battery in order for the BCDC to recognise it. This can be done with a jump starter pack or jump starting from your start battery or applying another charger to the battery such as a mains battery charger. Then when you start the vehicle, the BCDC will recognise as a battery present and it'll take over and start charging. There are six fault codes that the BCDC can display by flashing all of the LEDs. And then there is a three and a half second delay in between the flash rate. Two common faults are the all LEDs flashing five times. This indicates the input voltage is under voltage. The common cause to this fault is an incorrect fuse holder has been installed. If blade fuse holders or circuit breakers have been used, it is recommended that these are replaced with MIDI style fuses. Secondly, there's the flash rate of four times, and this indicates the output over voltage. The common cause to this fault is when a solar panel is wired in reverse polarity to the BCDC, or the auxiliary battery is being charged by another charger that is supplying too high a voltage. On the front of the BCDC, there are seven LEDs that indicate its function. These seven LEDs can also indicate if there's a fault with the system. The profile LED indicates which charge profile is selected, and this is selected when the charger is installed by the way that the orange wire is connected. When the charger is in standby, the profile LED will be flashing slowly. When the vehicle is running, when the charger is charging, the profile light will go solid. At that time, depending on where the power is coming from, the vehicle LED, the solar LED, or both, will be illuminated solid. The stage LED will also illuminate to indicate the stage of charge. In boost, the stage LED is on solid. In absorption, the stage LED flashes twice per two seconds. In float, it flashes once per two seconds. When testing to see if the BCDC is receiving the correct voltages, it is important to check the voltage at four locations. One is at the start battery. And when the vehicle is not running, the start battery will be less than the turn on voltage of the BCDC. Also, check the voltage at the auxiliary battery across the positive and negative battery terminals. This should be showing the circuit voltage of the auxiliary battery at rest. These voltages will change when the BCDC is running if there is a good connection to the batteries. You must also check the voltage at the input wire, the red wire of the BCDC, and the output wire, which is the brown wire of the BCDC, with reference to the black ground wire of the BCDC. Knowing these voltages means that you can compare the battery voltage with the voltage that is getting to the BCDC itself. If you have a much lower voltage at the BCDC than what you do at the batteries, you have excessive voltage drop and you must check the circuit to find where this problem lies. It's important to then measure the battery voltages with the engine running. On the start battery you should see better than 13.8 volts. And at the auxiliary battery, we will now see the BCDC voltage as it's charging. You can compare these voltages to the red brown wires at the BCDC once again to make sure that you have a good connection. If the auxiliary battery is very discharged, the voltage on the auxiliary battery may appear much lower than this, in which case you can measure the current flow from the BCDC into the auxiliary battery to confirm that it is charging. We can see that we're currently charging with 20 odd amps. To 
For more helpful information and technical assistance, visit the How To and Frequently Asked Questions on the Red Arc website. Thank you.